In this next question, we have a binomial probability distribution and we're asked about the standard deviation. So they talk about the mean and the variance. Now the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. You could skip right down to standard deviation is right here. So this is what we're gonna compute. Sigma equals square root NPQ. And somewhere over here, S sigma is square root N times P times Q. And here is the Excel SQRT function. That's all there is to this question. Once you have the formula, it's probably the fastest question to answer. So I'm just gonna line up the P, the Q, and the N. Uh, it doesn't even matter what success and failure is because if you swap the two, you'll get the same answer. Um, but in this case, according to the American Red Cross, 9.3%. Um, now, is that success or failure? Is, X is the number that have type B, 9.3 have type B. So for us, that's success, 0 0.093. That's 9.3% as a decimal. Failure is Q. It's the opposite or the complement of success. 0 0.907, you add those, you get one. N is the size. So this is 17 for this question. And I could go over and copy this SQRT, N times P times Q. And there's the formula, let's go SQRT N times, I'm doing it in the wrong order. Let me do it in the order here. N times P times Q. The order doesn't actually matter when you multiply. Uh, so it's square root of these three multiplied together. That's all there is to it. Ah, so I don't actually see the answer here. That should make you pause for a second. Now, these are a little bit funky. They, they have the square root in them, so they want to know what's inside the square root. So they just want to know what is B, all these Bs multiplied together. There we go. So it's square root of this number. That one right there. So it's the square root's in the answer. This is a little bit funky, but the square root is in the answer. So the standard deviation would be the square root of that number.